This is Ray Brennan, and uh, this is another episode of Lost in the Midlands. I'm here with Benjamin Broughton, a teacher at Dreer High School, um, an advocate and supporter of a Healing Grace nonprofit. Thanks so much for coming in to tell us about the organization and the work y'all are doing. Um, much appreciated. Thank you. No, I appreciate this opportunity. Um, can you tell us the, the background to the organization and just kind of the leading up events and your sure. affiliation? Uh, in 2015, my daughter Lily uh, was diagnosed with uh, brain cancer and as part of her surgery, she had a condition known as posterior fossa syndrome where she lost her ability to walk and talk and swallow. So we were in the hospital 24-7, um, basically from the moment she was diagnosed and uh, stayed in the hospital through the floods, um, and then was transferred to Memphis and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital where we stayed out there really for the entirety of the 2015-2016 school year. In that time I was out of the classroom, not able to work. Um, I was lucky enough that I was able to keep my job, but uh, there was still a lot of other things that were associated, costs associated with that uh, and being out, out there. And so there was a lot of fundraising that needed to go down and go and happen for us and thankfully it was able to do that. And as we came out of that, uh, my sister-in-law, Heather Ace, realized that there was a need for families in this, in the, in this area to kind of help families that were going through that some similar situation. So she started a Healing Grace uh, to help families in North and South Carolina going through what we, what we went through. Wow, so during that time you guys kind of had to grassroots your own Yeah, it was, it was a lot of grassroots type stuff and a lot of stuff that we weren't even aware of when we were out in Memphis and that our family kind of spearheaded and families and friends just really pulled together and um, kind of took care of, of a lot of things for us that we, we couldn't do because we weren't even in, in the state at the time. So it was wonderful. So, and that's what the um, inspiration was, so can you tell me a little bit about what the, uh, the organization looks like? Absolutely. Uh, the organization is, is a, f a platform to help with different costs that families may need, and that could be living costs, that could be travel costs, that could be everyday costs, mortgages, things like that. We try to fundraise, we try to help give support or access to support and resources to families that are going through this situation, whether it be fundraising, whether it be just donations, whether it be um, helping them get to other resources uh, that, that may benefit them uh, in their time of need because families really need to focus on taking care of their children rather than having to fill out all the paperwork or go figure out what funding you might need to do to get what you need to do done. So. That's kind of what Healing Grace does, is, is take care of those things. And um, some of the, uh, the families I noticed are on the, the website. You know, what is the, what's the process look like to become a family that, that you guys can So there's an application that you fill out and it, it's available to families who have children who are fighting cancer in North and South Carolina. And once you, you've filled out the application and you've been approved, then they feature your, your child's stories and, and sometimes pictures on the website so people can see and donate and, and kind of see the, the path because the path just doesn't end at the end of treatment because these kids go through long-term, lifelong after effects after the treatment as well. So the journey's not over just after the cancer treatment's over. So, so the stories uh, stay updated on the website so you can the, the people who are donating can kind of see the journeys that these these children and families are taking. Wow. And um, so are there any kind of upcoming um, yeah, fundraiser uh, fundraisers? Yeah, um, fundraisers. Th this time every year we do angel trees. Uh, okay. A lot of businesses in the area will have trees that have the children's uh, stories on them or wish lists that families may need for the holidays. And then and people can you know, basically support those children or um, sponsor those children's gifts for the, for the holidays. Uh, this year it will be 
virtual for most of it, uh, done through Amazon, but there will be uh, you know, some local businesses that have the trees up. Midlands Family Chiro Chiro Chiropractic will have a tree up. They'll have the stories on and the lists. Um, so, and, and, I'm sure, and the website will have that as well. Okay, awesome. Um, and they are located in Irmo off of St. Andrews. So Correct. I, I've seen the tree. Yeah. And that, that's a really awesome thing you guys do out there. Um, if somebody wanted to volunteer or maybe become one of the the, org the businesses that can host a tree, what's what's a way they can? Uh, you can that? you can contact us through the website at healinggrace.org uh, and and sponsor however you, you your company would like to sponsor. Uh, so reach out to our, our website. That would be the best way of doing it. So uh, Ben, can you tell us a little bit about how the contributions assist some of the families um, in the short and sure. mid term? Outside of just uh, everyday needs, whether they be bills or stuff like that, uh, one of the things that we do is we try to honor the kids' birthdays. Uh, we have local bakers send cupcakes to them. That has kind of slowed down since the pandemic and we've tried to send gift cards in, in, instead. Um, but we also try to, to honor and keep memories alive of children that have passed uh, because we want we don't want their their struggles to be forgotten uh, we need them to, to their memories to live on wow that's uh, that's really a, that's really awesome and um, you just brought up COVID and I was wondering what that impact may have been on you know y'all's organization absolutely uh, it really has taken a a toll on the fundraising portion. We've we've had to cancel things that we have normally done in the past. We have we've done bake sales in the fall. Well, that we can't do that now. We've had you know beach bashes in the spring. Can't do that. Um, so we've it's really taken a toll on how we have looked to fundraise because we can't do what we have done in the past. Uh, and the problem with that is, is that the need hasn't stopped. These families still are, are coming. You know. You know, every month there's there's new families that show up and so it's it's really taken a toll on on how we fundraise to provide for those families well thanks for you know continuing to you know march forward even with the, the pandemic and thank helping you. people out but it sounds like this is a real important time for people to, to help out so thank you no i appreciate that thank you so with uh, some of the contributions that people make, it sounds like there's uh, gift cards to restaurants. Can you tell us a little bit about the, um, that importance? Sure. And the gift cards are probably the best way to donate right now, donate to uh, us online, because um, whether it be gas gift cards or food gift cards or grocery gift cards, these families are gonna need all those things. So if you're just looking for a quick way to, to, to help out, that's probably the quickest and easiest way is to donate gift cards to, to us online. Okay, awesome. And um, the uh, we were talking about before. There's you know a lot of awareness about breast cancer and, and things of that nature. But can you tell us a little bit about you know the you know childhood cancer and kind of just the, the general I you know right Bef you know, before um, my daughter was diagnosed, I had this kind of preconceived notion that cancer was just this one thing. And as you go through and you learn, you realize that there's a lot of different types of cancer uh, that affect kids and, 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 and different age groups. Um, the funding for childhood cancer awareness is very, very small. It's only 4% of the entire you know, cancer awareness uh, budget for research. And, and it shouldn't be that way because these are the kids that are going to hopefully live the longer periods of time. Uh, and so the hard part about it is these kids are still dealing with a lot of the treatments for older people. And so it, on a developing body, it's a lot harder. So the need for cancer research is on children's cancer research is probably the most important thing. Uh, and, and of course, in my eyes, I might be a little biased, but uh, we want these kids to live full lives after treatment. And so we need to find ways of uh, treating them better for their age groups. Different types of cancers. Absolutely, I appreciate you sharing that with us. Yeah, absolutely, um, that, that really does resonate and is such a powerful message. So thank, you. thank you. Awesome. And do you have any uh, message to other families that are going through this? I mean, it's 
I, I can't understand what sh the journey y'all been through, but to maybe another family, is there any message you have to them? Yeah, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to, you know, search outside of your, your comfort zone for, for help. Um, it's, 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 it's the hardest journey that you, you never want to go through. And in this day and age, it's probably even harder uh, with with everything that's going on right now in the world with with the pandemic and um, and the way everybody has to be careful. So uh, don't ever stop, you know. Get, don't give up hope. Don't ever stop asking for help. And, and well, you really caught me off guard on that one. <laughs> Sorry. Well, the, the message is, is powerful. I mean, it, it really you. is. And it's, you know, testament to all the awesome work you guys are, are doing in the community. Um, so is the organization, it sounds like y'all are a North Carolina and a South Carolina yeah, reach. It's, we're based out of South Carolina, but uh, it is available to any, any um, patients that are fighting cancer in North and South Carolina. So we're, we're a Carolina-based uh, or organization. Okay, awesome. And um, yeah, that, I mean, I, I really appreciate you coming and spending no. time letting Thank us know you. what you guys are doing. It's, you know, I, my heart goes out to you and your family and Thank everybody. You. I mean, it's, it sounds like y'all have a, a, an awesome organization to help people. Thank you, I, I really appreciate this opportunity. Thank you guys for doing this. Thank you.